Hey guys, this is John from US Dash Camera. Today I got a review on the Autovox P1 Jump Starter. Now this is the third Jump Starter I've reviewed and the reason I was interested in this one is besides the fact that it's a 600 amp peak and 18,000 milliamp hour battery, it does actually jump start gas engines up to 6.5 liters, diesel up to 7.5 liters, where my previous ones I believe were something like 5 liter limit on gas engines. So what's pretty unique about this jump starter compared to a lot of the other ones I've seen and a lot of name brand ones is it comes in this leather looking binder. And at first I didn't think I really liked it but what I realized is this actually would fit under your car seat very well. At least it fits under mine just fine. And then the first thing I noticed is it actually comes with a 12 volt socket adapter so you could even power a dash camera off this battery with the included accessories so I thought that was pretty cool. Here you can see the standard cell phone charging cables there's micro USB, the lightning cable from Apple and also the older Apple connector but there's no USB type C on this so you would have to have your own cable for that if you want to use USB type C I would prefer to have separate cables actually too. I don't really like having three cables on one. I'm only ever going to need one of them. So that's sort of annoying but at the same time it does cover a lot more bases and it's probably cheaper. Next we have this barrel adapter. So you'll plug this into the jump starter and then it goes along with all of the other barrel adapters. So it covers quite a lot of different plugs. More than likely if you have a laptop with a barrel plug you'll be covered with this. Here's a wall adapter so you can charge it at home. I think that's very necessary because I don't want to always charge in my car. And there's the car charger. So here's the main unit. One thing I noticed right away is it's really big. It's thinner than the few I've used, but it's really long. But the battery is actually 50% larger than my previous two jump starters. There you can see it's got flashlight and two USB ports. And then the connector for the barrel connections. Here you can see there's a 1 amp or 2 amp USB port there. Then on the left side we got the connector for jump starting your car. So I do like the build of it. It feels very sturdy. doesn't feel like cheap plastic or anything. I really like the yellow color. It sort of gives off a emergency look to it. So we have some instructions here. There is one thing that's not explained on here and during my demonstration I'll point that out. A lot of people complained that I didn't demonstrate the Power All jump starter in my Power All review. And honestly the reason I didn't is because it was winter when I got it and I really didn't want to stand outside in the freezing cold because at the time I didn't have a garage parked outside so it sucked. So here's the power cable. Now I don't really like this big connector. The other two jump starters ahead had much smaller connectors and I think they're a lot easier to plug in. It's also pretty hard to get it out of this strap. So there you can see there's a couple lights on it. If we can get it to focus you'll see there's a boost button. Now the instructions didn't say anything about that but when I demonstrate it, I actually have to push that, otherwise it doesn't power the car. So you can see it lines up. Only goes in one way. It's a little hard to get in. Like I said, I don't really like this huge fat connector. I think it's clumsy. So there you can see the power button on the top and it has a full charge.
So now let's take a look at some of the other connections. So here's actually where you output to charge something like a laptop. So now if you hold the power button down, it turns the flashlight on. Then if you press it again, it'll give you different modes, like an SOS call. Most jump starters have some sort of flashlight. I do sort of like how some actually have a red or blue flashing light too, because that could really get someone's attention easily. But this will be good enough. It might even be illegal in some places to have a flashing red and blue light, so it's something to look up in your laws if you do have one that does that. So again, I really like the build of this. It has everything you really need in a jump starter, including all the accessories. So let's go ahead and demonstrate it. Now since my car battery isn't dead, what I'm going to do here is I already have the red cord or the live wire already disconnected from the battery. You'll see I actually just connect the red to the red, but they're not going to be touching the battery terminal. So that way it would simulate the battery being dead. Now this first time I did it, I didn't actually realize I have to push that boost button. So you'll see I actually get into my car and it doesn't work. The other two jump starters I used didn't require pushing any additional buttons, you just had to turn them on. So that's why I didn't really think about it the first time I tried it. So here's me reattaching it. This time I'm actually going to push that button. The button's actually pretty hard to push with just your fingernail, so I used some needle nose pliers. There you can see the lights of my car turned on right when I pushed it. And now it starts right up. So there you go. A lot of people had a hard time believing a few years ago that these small devices could actually jumpstart a car, but they really do. Mine's actually saved me a couple times. Not because my battery was dead, because a wire was loose or something. and. You know, like I said, it saved me a couple times, they're totally worth it. So there's my review on the Autovox jump starter. Now, I did receive this from Autovox directly for review, so I will provide a link down to Amazon where you can purchase this. I believe it's like $99 currently. I think it was a little more expensive, but since I received it, they dropped the price actually to make it more competitive, and it is competitively priced compared to a lot of other similarly specced jump starters. There are some cheaper ones out there, but with this one having a much bigger battery than a lot of the cheaper ones and being able to jump start up to a 6.5 liter engine, I think this one is really beneficial for people with large trucks or large vehicles. So anyways, that's it for today. If you like this video or my other videos, I'd appreciate if you hit like and subscribe. As usual, thanks for watching. Drive safe and I'll see you next time.